Former Alabama Supreme Court Chief Justice Roy Moore is throwing his hat in the ring again for the U.S. Senate seat. Moore announcing this afternoon his plans to seek the Republican nomination. Our State Capitol Bureau reporter Rashad Hudson was there for the announcement. He tells us why Moore says this time will be different. Well, this time, Roy Moore says he plans to win after a number of people telling him not to enter the race. But he says it's his core group of supporters that are urging him to run. From the White House all the way down to Alabama, former Chief Justice Roy Moore is being told not to run for the U.S. Senate. I'm not going against President Trump at all. I support President Trump. I'll vote for President Trump. To the flag. With a room of family and core supporters, Moore says he's getting back into the fight and says he plans to do things a little different. I would like to make more personal contact with people. I mean, we did last time with rallies. His 2017 campaign was plagued with a number of sexual misconduct allegations with teenage girls. We have a case going, and I haven't even seen the woman involved. We can't question her. Uh, where are they? I've taken a lot of detective tests. I've taken polygraph tests. I've done everything I could do. Leisha Brooks with the Southern Poverty Law Center says Roy Moore's policies are divisive. If he were to win, I believe the citizens of the state of Alabama would, would be stuck with, with more legal fees. She says the message is clear and Moore has been rejected by the people before. The people of Alabama are moving on, and we invite him to move on with us or stay home. The Republican field of candidates is expected to grow even more. Putting the Valley first, Rashad Hudson, WZDX News. If Moore wins the Republican nomination, he could face off against Democratic Senator Doug Jones yet again.